cute season. Oh, you can't see. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, you guys. This is Reborn Angels or Tyler, if you didn't know. Um, I spent majority of this morning. Oh shit! Sorry, you can't see me. I'll just stand over here. But uh, got my Dunkin' Donuts. I know it's in Starbucks, but I got Dunkin' Donuts coffee. For those of you who say I don't drink coffee, you're wrong. I drink. I do drink coffee. See, drinking coffee. But uh, yeah. So I spent most of this morning watching old YouTube videos on my other channels. Um. If you guys want me to do, like, uh, I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this, actually. They watch all their old shit and, like, commentate over it. What the fuck am I looking at right now? A stick? That's a stick. But, um, commentate over their old videos, and then they do, like, a... They do, like, a... They watch the video, they pause it, they talk about it, and then they play it again. Uh, if you want to see that from my channel, just tell me. Most of you already have me on, like, Skype and have my phone number... And you have my gamer tag and shit. So you could hit me up in multiple different ways. Um, yeah, so uh, I've been watching a bunch of videos. And I might just do this for, for my sake too. Like, um, I'm watching on my channel of a uh, bunch of me and my friends doing dumb shit during high school. So watching way old COD videos from senior year of high school when... Uh, when me and my friends came up with GS Clan and Science Class, what GS Clan is get some, get some clan, um, and then I have uh, videos from when I was in a group called Predator Clan. Um, yeah, those are some really fun times though, yo. When I look back at it, dude, I miss that shit so much. Like, it's ridiculous how much fun I had during high school. The social aspect of it. Yeah, the school work and shit sucked, but in the end, high school was a blast. Um, for all you people who don't like high school, like me, I hate it. I hate school. Like, school sucks. Like, don't get me wrong. But, freshman year, freshman year through junior year was just the social end of it, right? It was social. Like, I didn't give a shit about school work, homework, nothing. I just like talking to people. I don't know how I passed, by the way. But, uh, I'll get, I'll get to that in a minute. But, yeah, man, for all you guys who don't like high school, make the most of it. Believe me, don't be like me, don't be like me, or don't be like countless other people who just fucking blow it off like it's nothing. High school actually does play a big part in your life, and if I were to do high school again, I've told many people this, but if I were to do high school again... I would take it seriously. I was that one kid who just slacked off and didn't do his work, got really poor grades, somehow passed. But, yeah, all my teachers liked me and shit, but that doesn't really get you anywhere. Because after high school, you just lose contact with everybody. I didn't think... I ne I thought... Yo, check this out. Alright, so I thought during high school, I was like, ah, oh, sweet. Senior year's coming up. When I graduate, I'm going to talk to all these people. No. Nope. I don't even talk, I don't even talk to, like, I used to have a big circle of friends that I would hang out with every single day during high school. We'd have study halls together, we'd spend time in the morning together, but there were, like, I don't know, maybe 30 to 40 kids that I would really talk to on a daily basis. No, when I graduated, I talked to less than 10 people that I used to talk to, I swear. Like, that shit's so weird, like, we used to be so close and shit. But after high school, everyone goes off to college, and then they grow up in their own big boy world, and everyone goes a separate direction. Some people actually get jobs right out of high school. Some people don't, like me. Uh, I went to certification school for broadcasting, so I just edited a bunch. But for a majority, you really don't talk to people in high school. So honestly, I would like just buckle down, enjoy school for what it is. Because high school is honestly, high school was a blast. Um... Yeah, try, get good grades, because get good grades in high school, you go to a good college, and then you get a good career out of it. Uh, for me, I didn't try. I'm not saying this is for everybody, I'm just saying this is for me. Uh, I didn't try in high school, I worked in fast food. I still work in fast food, been working in fast food for five years now. Um, not really going anywhere right now. As you all know, I'm trying to get into the military, but I doubt that's going to work out, so I... 
I'm trying to look for options and shit. I'm trying to edit more. I'm learning Adobe Premiere, which is a video editing software, which I have to really buckle down. I'm getting a uh, Funny Moments video put together right now. Um... But yeah, like, this is some real shit. So, uh, to my other story. So, senior, um, freshman year through junior year, all social. By senior year, man, I swear to God, like, I hate school. I hated school since pre-K. Once I hit senior year of high school, bro, I did not want to leave. Not want to leave. Because honestly, like, once you get to, like, your last month of senior year, you're going to realize... Well, some people are going to realize, wow, high school is nice. I really don't have to worry about anything. Once you graduate, you got to worry about everything. You got to worry about where you're going to work. You got to worry about where you're going to live, how you're going to pay for school, how you're going to do this, how you're going to do that, how you're going to pay for your car. And shit like that. Like, there's so much shit to worry about outside of high school walls that it makes your head spin. Like, thinking back. I wish I took my time during high school, enjoyed it, got good grades, tried, and then maybe I could have done something more than fast food with myself. But for now, we're just chilling, making videos, playing games, working a bunch, like 45-hour weeks. I had OT a lot, which sucks. I'm, I need to look for a new job and shit. But uh, yeah, so back to my story on... Barely passing, so I don't try. Like, I'm smarter than I think I am, but I don't like put myself to that. Like, I don't, I don't try and excel in, in academic situations, but um, I probably should start that soon. But yeah, man, like, try. And then once I got to senior year, senior year was the best. I love senior year. Uh, once you, for all those who graduated high school, senior year, or you're in your senior year, you either have enjoyed senior year or you will enjoy it now. Um, yeah, so, but me and my friend senior year, we were in the same English class, so we were just fucking around, and at the end of the year, we got our report cards, and whatever, you know, your report cards got, like, your final report card for your whole high school has a has your your GPA that you graduated with, and then it has an accumulated GPA from all four years of high school. And me and my friend were in a competition because me and my friend did not try at all. Me and my friend Mike, um, we didn't try during high school. We slacked off. We we didn't do anything. We hung out a bunch. Um, but yeah, so we showed each other our report cards, and dude, we were. Uh, a tenth off from being the same. He beat me by a tenth of a a tenth of a number. Um, my GPA, my GPA senior year was two point five, which completely sucks ass. Um, but that's okay. Two point five is like a C, C, C and a half to a D. Um, but my accumulated GPA, I kid you not, my accumulated GPA was a 1.7 for all four years of high school. And my friend got a 1.8, dude. Oh my god, we were laughing so hard because it, it was honestly, like, looking back at it, I shouldn't have laughed at that. I should have been like, oh my god, that's awful. But, like, no, it, it honestly is funny. It was funny at the time, and it's funny now. But, try, man, try. Try in school, try in life, try and better yourself. Um, because honestly, if you don't, then you're not living life to the full expectation that you're supposed to live it at. And I feel that for, I feel like for someone like me who slacked off and like, it's, okay, let's just put it this way. Picture my speech like a druggie telling you not to do drugs. They don't want you to do drugs because they want you to be better in life than they are. So basically what I'm telling you is try in school and try to further your education so you don't end up like me. Living in your parents' house at almost 23 years old. Um, yeah, man, I love my parents, though. They're, they're good to me. So I can't complain in that aspect. But um, yeah, man, just get out there. If you're in a low spot in life. Just get up, 
pick it up wherever you are. Get out there, show yourself, present yourself at who you want to be, not where you are now. Because life can always change. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever been like... Hang on. Put my coffee down. Okay. Okay, so... I don't know if I've ever been forward about this with anyone on YouTube or whatever, but... um, uh, In 2000... It was August 19th. August 19th of 2014. I... Went through... I went through a rough time with one of my best friends and now my ex. And my girlfriend at the time, but she's my ex now. But, um... I I tried to commit suicide August 19th of 2014. And, like, you never want to get to that point. Like, during high school, we lost a kid. We lost a kid of my grade who's actually very well-known throughout my high school. Well-known throughout all the neighboring towns because he was a track star. He was a uh, he was an all-star football player. And this kid randomly one day just committed suicide. We had no idea why. But it was really sad, and, like, I always wondered, like, how the hell could anyone do that? Like, life's not that bad. And once I hit that point, I realized what he was going through. So, just to give you a little backstory on what happened, was, um, it was October 19th of 2013, the year I graduated high school, I met, I met, um, I met my ex, which is, her name is Angelique. Uh, I met her at her house, and I didn't realize it was her house, but that's irrelevant. So I met her, and then as soon as I met her, um, my life and all my focus kind of went away from friends and went to her. And my best friend Adam, uh, my best friend Adam did not like that. So, like, it was around the time that her and I broke up, and... He was talking like mad shit to her, like, you took my best friend away, like, why the fuck would you do that? He called her the C word a bunch of times, and like that, like, and she called me, and she was crying and shit, and then I went to her house to see what was going on, and, cause I had no idea what was going on, she showed me the message, and it was just, it was bad. Like, he should never have said the things that she that he said. But in return, she shouldn't have said the things that she said. And honestly, like, people's opinion, guys, people's opinions don't matter, okay? Like, if someone calls you a douchebag, just wipe it off. Hey, fuck it, you're a douchebag, whatever. As long as you know that you're not, then that's all that matters, right? That That's what I learned. That's what I learned from this experience. Is that no matter what anyone says, you, you, you have the opportunity to just brush it off and say, ah, oh, fuck it, doesn't matter. Or it could be like the person who takes it personally like me. Like I used to. I used to take shit way too personally. Because um, I was always that kid who got like made fun of. Ever since uh, first grade I got made fun of. Senior year it didn't get any better. But that's because I'm a pushover. I don't really defend myself in any way because I don't believe in that shit um if you want to pick on me you can pick on me I don't really care it's whatever it just makes you look like a dumbass because you're like oh, yeah pick on you yeah I'm like five feet tall so like what are you gonna gain from that nothing like cool you you hey good for you you made yourself look better or you made yourself feel better sorry good job I don't care you can make fun of me whenever you want but he said all these mean all this mean shit to her, and then she just took it personally and fought back, and that wasn't good on her part either. Because then that night she was talking about killing herself, and me being really involved with her at the time, I was in love with her. Like I saw like a future with her and everything. But and then she was talking about com committing suicide, and then I went home, and I really wondered what life would be without her, and like what would happen if she wasn't there. And all this shit. And then... Um... And then that night... I went... Because she gave my shit back like a week before... Because we broke up or whatever. So I went to my car and got all boxes where she put all the stuff in. And in that box was a knife that I bought at a XC. Um... For my sister's boyfriend's graduation down in 
Cape May, New Jersey. Uh, he's in the Coast Guard. Shout out to you, bro. Like, I love you, man. But um, I got a knife at his uh, XC, which is an exchange store on a base. And um, it was a little flip knife. And I started cutting my wrist with that. And because I was mad at Adam at the time, I sent him a picture of me cutting, uh, cutting my wrist and shit. And I said um, something like, is, are you happy now or something? And then he called the cops. The cops showed up at my house. And ironically enough, my EMT, the person who was in the ambulance, was one of my best friend's mothers. Um, shout out to you, Nancy. I love you. I um, hope Jamie's doing well, too. But, um, yeah, Nancy came, and she was like, what's going on? And I was like, well, Adam said a bunch of, sh a bunch of stuff to my girlfriend at the time, and it wasn't cool. And then she said that she was going to kill herself, blah, blah, blah. So, like, I was like, well, instead of that, well, I'll just kill myself, whatever. And so, a suicidal attempt. And the way that I look at it now is it wasn't a suicidal attempt. It was just a bad a bad decision because I'm not a suicidal person yeah everyone get, everyone hits a depression patch but that's not like it's not like to the point where you're like oh gotta kill myself I can't do it some people are like that and I feel for you um but no man life life is too good for that shit like I've learned throughout my 23 years of living that you know and it's great. Life is awesome. You can't you can't take life for granted because big man upstairs will let you know. If you're here on this earth right now, big man upstairs, he'll let you know why. Uh it'll it might take a while or it might come easy. Whatever. I'm still waiting for my answer. I'm just chilling right now, you know. Taking his words, you know. So ever since Ever since that day that I tried committing suicide, I got out or made my bad decision because, um, yeah. Okay, so.